It's about the blueprint, at least in my opinion, is about reclaiming quote unquote lost territory. <clears throat> From damage caused as a result of our collective indifference, and you might say carelessness or indifference or greed or whatever, because we did not consider the values of, of, of urban streams important. When I was a young, I don't want to go that far back, engineer in Scotland, none of this was talked about. Strong water was stuck in a big pipe and it was whiffed off to the nearest creek. No talk about the uh, low impact development or various areas. This has all come through but the passage of time. Now I want to sidebar a little bit just to mention a program I was involved with in the 1990s, you may remember it, some of you, the Urban Salmon Habitat Program. And the good fortune to be manager of that program for its brief existence, and I say brief because it was unfortunate that politics takes over and the next generation comes and, and it died, I think, a, a rather early death. But um, <coughs> it, it, it passed on before it should have been, in other words. <coughs> but the point I want to make here is the principles in, in the Urban Salmon Habitat Program, again, are very germane to what's happening in Bunker. Bunker, in the 1920s, as a prolific, at least had a good run of coal. Above Haltain Creek, Haltain Road, there was trout, etc. In other words, a healthy, healthy system. The sudden or increasing urbanization ended up with about 60% of the water of, of the system now enclosed in culvert or underground. About 50% of the land of the watershed is hardscape. Now, we didn't do this intentionally. We did it because we didn't understand what we were doing. And I feel that what we're talking about here, through Cavi and on the Lower Mainland, it's all about the sea. Trying to reverse that trend and bring us into the balance of ecology and development. I want to mention this in passing, and I know Calvin Sandbaum is here, that there's a, an initiative, Reinventing Rainwater Management, again, looking at the whole aspect of how we handle stormwater management. That, of course, is a major factor in the question of the damage to places like Barker Creek. 